dear students i shall discuss the next method of solving the differential equations that is called method of variation of parameters so far in the previous lecture if i want to take the review of it we have studied the solving solution of differential equations right from the beginning uh, that is separation of variables uh, method number 1 and uh, homogeneous method number 2 reducible to homogeneous exact differential equation reducible to exact differential equations bernoulli's differential equations and uh, uh, method of uh, that is uh, linear uh, differential equations with constant coefficients method of using the inverse differential operator there we discussed uh, two cases one is for homogeneous and the other one is for non homogeneous differential equations in the case of homogeneous we found uh, three types of roots one uh, types of roots were roots were real and uh, different after converting the given differential equation into auxiliary form then second case we discussed as roots are real and different and third case roots are imaginary later we moved on to the case of uh, non homogeneous differential equations in the case of non homogeneous differential equations we discussed about three cases one is on the right side exponential term and the right side is trigonometric function and the right side is that is another one is polynomial term in all these three cases we discussed how to find out uh, the particular integral so now there is another uh, type of uh, situation where we come across some different trigonometric functions on the right side using uh, uh, variation of parameters how that variation of parameters is to be generated so that is the standard differential equation is of the second order we take uh, we don't apply this uh, Uh, variation of parameters to the higher order uh, differential equation only to the second order samples let me discuss method of variation of parameters to find the particular integral or particular solution that means we have uh, the uh, standard statement general solution is equal to combination of complementary function plus particular integral complementary function for every problem goes in the usual way finding the auxiliary equation then finding the roots then finding the uh, complementary function solution depending on the nature of the roots okay let us consider the second order differential equation that is y double dash in the standard form plus of p of y dash plus q uh that is y is equal to x of x is there this is this uh, second order differential equation you can write it as which is second order ode second order ode when this is x of x consists of consists of tan x cot x cosecant x secant x 1 divided by 1 plus e to the power x 1 divided by 1 plus e to the power minus x and etc that terms then how it is to obtain it is to obtain yp using variation of parameters variation of parameters as follows variation of parameters as follows now uh, let yp uh, y is the general solution that is yc plus yp then this is the general solution
general solution then for one let y c is equal to c 1 it is y 1 plus c 2 it is y 2 where uh, y 1 is equal to e to the power m 1 x and y 2 is equal to e to the power it is m 2 x where m 1 and m 2 are the roots of equation 1. Understand all these details what I have written now. Now, the procedure is entirely different what we discussed earlier. That means, in the previous uh, discussions, previous lectures, we discussed to find out the particular integral in one method of using inverse differential operator. Here, we do not use inverse differential operator, but we will take uh, some different procedure as per the guidelines of this variation of parameters. Here, there are two constants we have according to the second order differential equation. So, second order differential equation uh, takes y double dash as the highest order derivative that is d square y divided by d x square. This is for example, I am considering because second order derivative uh, uh, limitation of uh, utilization of second order derivative problems only I am going to select. Then in the case of variation of parameters, even you can get another one also uh, third order, but second order we take uh, two parameters uh, to be introduced and then those two parameters will be calculated in the form of integrals. Then uh, C 1 y 1 this is most important uh, part of it because method of variation of parameters is completely depending on this solution. If this is correct then other part is correct, if this is wrong then entire thing will become wrong. So, what we here uh, do is y 1 is a solution this much and y 2 is a solution this much then we take this C 1 and C 2 instead of constants we take them as uh, some parameters. So, what those parameters how those parameters are going to be utilized here I will write define C 1 is equal to u of x and C 2 is equal to v of x right as parameters as parameters such that as parameters such that y p is equal to u of x that is different from this solution that is multiplied by y 1 plus v of x multiplied by this is y 2. Then if this is y p what are the values of u x and v x that we have to calculate. What are the values of this u x and v x? So, we will see that where u x is equal to u x is equal to you have to write the integration that is minus of uh, that should be in the numerator with respect to x it should be that is y 2 d x and in the denominator that is de, uh, determinant y 1 it is y 2 and y 1 dash and y 2 dash. This is for u x and v x equal to this is some last step of some de, uh, theoretical discussion. So, you need not to go for all those details, but how to find out u x and v x first you learn that is equal to integration y 1 that is with plus sign here with minus sign y 1 into that is x of x here that is to be multiplied on the right side uh, x of x it is given on the right side x of x into d x and divided by that is determinant same determinant y 1 y 2 y 1 dash and it is y 2 dash. So, these are the two values this is the most important part and uh, the skill of writing integration in both the cases is most required. That is knowledge of integration you have to have knowledge of integration how this integration is to be carried out and how this integration is to be carried out. Of course, in another form also you can write this one u x is equal to integration minus of it is y 2 into x of x d x 
divided by uh, determinant simplification that is y1 and y2 dash minus that is y2 into y1 dash that is first value and vx you can take in any form either this one if you feel convenient you take this and carry out you take this and carry out vx is equal to integration that is y1 into x of x dx divided by y1 into x of x dx that is same denominator y1 and y2 dash and minus of y2 and y1 dash but here one condition uh, uh, with the condition with the condition that what will be the condition you are going to expect here easily you can make out what condition uh, theoretically you can expect condition should be denominator is not equal to 0 if denominator equal to 0 means you are getting infinity so infinity is not our calculation uh, it should be a finite quantity it is not infinite quantity so when you get this value 0 then this method fails this method cannot be applied when you get a non zero number then you carry out non zero number you have to carry out so this should not become zero therefore uh, now either in this form you can use or in this form or in this form you can use in this form this is called this is called here the determinant here the determinant is called the Ronskian W R O N S K I A N. This is called Ronskian. Ronskian they write even equal to W. This is W, where W is not equal to zero. This should be the very very important condition. That is called Ronskian. It's a name of a, a mathematician who invented this formula. Then. Uh, according to the uh, calculations this w should not be equal to 0 so this is a most useful uh, method not uh, you are you are not studying only for the mathematics purpose or for examination you have to study this for application purpose wherever you get uh, differential equations with right side some terms of this kind tan cot secant cosecant and then other uh, terms of that nature uh, we cannot we do not have uh, the ready formulas in rule 1, rule 2, rule 3 then we need to take some other uh, technique there are two techniques actually one is variation of parameters and one more is method of undetermined coefficients of course now we are studying the method of variation of parameters how this method will work uh, by, uh, by having this term or by having this term or by having not all the terms in one uh, problem of course individual term will take uh, uh, some uh, uh, terms of tan x, terms of cot x or terms of uh, cosecant or terms of secant x something like that. But everywhere the knowledge of writing, the skill of writing, the intelligence that you are going to use to write uh, particular integral totally is most important part. I can say that 20 percent is for complementary function and 80 percent of the solution is for uh, particular integral. Normally, the Mars division is also there in the examination system. 80 is to 20, I can call it. 80 is to 20. So, 20 is for complementary and 80 is for particular integral. Because particular integral is the most heart of the solution, where uh, which uh, um, a term is given on the right side and which procedure you are going to apply. So, these two will be always uh, go uh, hand in hand. That means, together uh, these two observations will have to go. Okay. So, now based on this information I will take the problems now. So, once again before I, before I rub it uh, uh, ux is equal to integration this one from the complementary function we generate the uh, particular integral by introducing c1 and c2 as parameters right. With this parameters the condition is Ranskian is not equal to 0. Okay. Then what is ux and what is vx means in terms of these integrals we calculate. Uh, if you refer in standard books, uh, these are uh, the integrals uh, suggested in most of the standard textbooks, but in some books they write in a different way, but ultimately those two methods will give the same solution. The solution has to be accepted because the approach may be different, solution uh, steps will be different, 
but the final value of that particular integral must be same in various methods that is the uh, purpose of mathematics. Now, I shall take uh, the examples on this uh, variation of parameters, how this variation of parameters method can be applied for various functions on the right side and various uh, de derivative part in the left side for complementary function because the most important part is complementary function is to be written properly then because that itself will serve the purpose of writing that is a particular integral. So now the first problem goes for this application of uh, method of variation of parameters in this way then uh, we will write complementary function and particular integral separately. So first example based on this is solve d square plus 4 operating on y is equal to tan of 2x. Now how to start your solution? Uh, the question comes because if you uh, recall or recapitulate what we studied so far in the previous lectures can you apply to this problem having this function on the right side can you apply rule 1 no, no chance because exponential rule 2 no chance because it is it should be in the form of either sin or cos alone not both at a time but this includes both tan means sin by cos it includes both that method cannot be applied and similarly third one it is not a polynomial term obviously rule 3 cannot be applied then we go on we move on to some other method where still we need the solution of uh, this differential equation how the complementary function is to be written then we uh, create the uh, particular integral from that only. Let general solution what it is y is equal to y c plus y p be the it is general solution what is that general solution you are going to write for uh, complementary function in the left side let y c is a uh, for y c that is a e auxiliary equation that is m square plus 4 equal to 0 what is this gives the roots m is equal to plus or minus it is 2 i m is equal to plus or minus 2 i that means uh, we have imaginary roots imaginary roots means that is y c is equal to c 1 e to the power 0 x this is nothing but 0 plus or minus it is 2 i then e to the power 0 x it is cos 2 x plus c 2 e to the power 0 x and sin of 2 x then this value is 1 this value is 1 and then c 1 cos 2 x and plus of c 2 it is sin of 2 x this is your complementary function. Now this is the base uh, uh, if this is correct your all other steps will become valid if this is wrong you whatever you write in the forthcoming steps all that uh, uh, work will become waste because uh, if this is right then only integrals will be uh, the values of the calculation in the integrals will be correct ok. So then uh, we write this uh, complementary function as particular integral like this define y p as u x then cos 2 x plus v x into sin of 2 x according to variation of parameters according to variation of parameters means we introduce uh, these here you can write it as where c1 is equal to ux and c2 is equal to vx as parameters which are varying parameters which are varying that is called variation of parameters varying means uh, they are not constants varying in the sense what it is it, it is a function of x x is a variable x is not a constant that is nothing but x function of x and u is also a function of x that means both are variables then so if this is y p 
if this is y p then this can be taken as even this solution also can be taken as c 1 y 1 plus c 2 it is y 2. What is that y 1? y 1 is cos 2 x and y 2 is sin of 2 x. This is very important you have to identify. First set all these details in your first few steps then how those uh, few steps can be taken that means you have to identify the solutions y 1 and y 2 properly and you have to write the solution and you have to uh, define c 1 and c 2 in terms of variation of parameters. So, after understanding of course, 50 percent will come as your supporting material for the solution remaining 50 percent if you know the knowledge of integration easily you can manage right. Then uh, you have to write the variation of parameters calculation. So, where u x should be taken as integration minus of y 2 x of x x of x is this much this is equal to x of x into d x and divided by w that is Ronsky n. Okay. Then uh, v x equal to integration y 1 that is uh, x of x x of x into d x divided by w where w is equal to w is equal to y 1 y 2 y 1 dash y 2 dash that is equal to y 1 y 2 dash minus y 2 y 1 dash is not equal to 0. This is your requirement. If w is equal to 0 obviously, this method fails because the value becomes infinity under the integral sign because this is the ratio anything divided by 0 is nothing but infinity, but it is not our target. Our target is to find out uh, other than infinity that means, uh, it should be some finite quantity. So, finite quantity means this value should not be equal to 0. Then how to find out uh, the Ronsky n uh, by taking uh, y 1 and y 2. So, these are the values of y 1 and y 2. Let us calculate separately this w that is uh, y 1 and y 2 uh, like uh, uh, y 1 and y 2 first you write in the first row that is cos 2 x and uh, sin 2 x and y 1 dash what is that minus of 2 sin 2 x differentiation of this 2 times cos of it is 2 x then you simplify uh, that is nothing but this is the step simplify the determinant is cross multiplication that is cos 2 x and cos 2 x it is 2 times cos square 2 x sin 2 x and sin 2 x minus and uh, determinant simplification one more minus sign makes us plus sign it is 2 times sin square 2 x this is equal to 2 into cos square 2 x plus it is sin square 2 x this is equal to 2 into 1 the answer is 2 then it is not equal to 0. That means, the goal is achieved the goal is achieved uh, to uh, uh, declare that Ronsky n value is equal to 2 which is not equal to 0. That means, you are permitted to go for the next step you are, you are not permitted to go to the next step if w is equal to 0 that means, Ronsky n should not be equal to 0. Here we got accordingly the value of Ronsky n is equal to 2 which is not equal to 0. Then we take u x first calculation this is uh, minus y 2 what is y 2 sin 2 x minus sin 2 x into x of x that is tan 2 x correct uh? tan 2 x and divided by uh, the Ronsky n value that is 2 then it is d x. Okay. Then you solve for this, this is equal to 1 by 2 sin 2 x you keep as it is minus 1 by 2 into sin 2 x you keep as it is. Then uh, here tan 2 x means it is sin 2 x sin 2 x divided by cos 2 x correct uh? sin 2 x divided by cos 2 x then it is d x. This is minus 1 by 2 outside 
sin 2 x into sin 2 x sin square 2 x divided by sin square 2 x divided by cos 2 x it is d x then uh, u x equal to minus 1 by 2 integration sin square 2 x means what 1 minus it is cos square 2 x whole divided by it is cos of 2 x d x because I, I have taken the formula application sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 then uh, sin square theta is equal to 1 minus of cos square theta just like that I have written 1 minus of cos square theta theta is 2 x okay. then this can be further written as minus 1 by 2 that is 1 divided by cos 2 x and minus cos square 2 x divided by cos 2 x this is for d x then what is 1 by cos 2 x minus 1 by 2 that is secant 2 x and minus it is d x otherwise you can write together these two terms in one bracket minus of secant 2 x minus of 1 cos 2 x cancel and cos of 2 x this is with d x then this is minus 1 by 2 then secant 2 x what is the integration uh, integration of secant x secant x d x is equal to log of secant x secant x plus tan x log of secant x plus tan x. So, this is first term directly you can write log of it is secant 2 x plus of tan 2 x and divided by 2 that is 1 by 2 and minus integration of cos 2 x that is <coughs> this is uh, completely within the square bracket cos 2 x is sin 2 x divided by 2 that is with minus sign these two terms are there this is for uh, which one u x first parameter this is for u x may be 1 by 2 you can take it as simplification outside and then you can do it uh, multiplication 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 that can be written as 1 by 4 because 1 by 2 is common in both the terms you can take that term outside now so v x in the integration v x you have to write and another parameter v x is equal to this one uh, that is uh, ron scan in the new uh, denominator but in the numerator y 1 what is y 1 cos 2 x cos 2 x into tan 2 x tan 2 x divided by ron scan is that value is equal to 2 that is d x correct uh? y 1 y 1 into x of x that is tan 2 x I have written and then d x and denominator this one w I think uh, the w is equal to only the constant that is 2 is not equal to 0 then 1 by 2 integration this is cos 2 x and tan 2 x how you are going to write sin of 2 x divided by cos of 2 x and then it is d x. So, this cos 2 x cancels that is 1 by 2 integration that should be sin of 2 x d x the integration is minus because sin integration is minus 1 by 4 this 1 by 2 and then 2 makes as 1 by 4 it is cos of 2 x and plus uh, constant but constant should not be written because we are working for particular integral in the particular integral arbitrary constant should not be appear but it is followed by real constant okay so then this is ux and this is vx then your final solution will be that is complementary function plus particular integral that is complementary function is this one therefore general solution gs is equal to c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin of 2x plus ux that means minus 1 by 4 multiplied to log of 
secant 2 x plus tan 2 x okay, and uh, uh, that is uh, minus sin sin 2 x correct uh, minus of sin 2 x this is the term as it is and close this and another term is plus of 1 by 2 this one and minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 plus of 1 by 2 V x uh, this is minus 1 by 4 means this 2 is not there already we have taken that it is minus 1 by 4 it should be cos of 2 x. So, this is the complete solution of this problem using variation of parameters. Maybe two or three problems of uh, uh, completely different varieties I am going to take up now in this method. So, understand this uh, method of uh, uh, taking the integration on the right side with respect to these two parameters u x and v x, how the values are going to be considered under the integral sign by claiming that Ronskian should not be equal to 0. Okay. So, this is uh, the case of uh, uh, right side when uh, the terms of the nature tan, cot, secant, cosecant, even exponential in the denominator, log in the denominator, something like that uh, different terms where we cannot solve by rule 1, rule 2, rule 3. Then we introduce this step, uh, this method and then we will solve the problems. I will move on to the next example on the same uh, method that is uh, solving by variation of parameters. The problem is like this. solve y double dash minus y is equal to 2 divided by 1 plus e to the power x, 1 plus e to the power x. Now, I am taking uh, exponential term appearance in the denominator. If it was in the numerator, no need of going for this variation of parameters, already rule 1 we have studied. Now, how this differs from uh, that particular rule 1, let me explain. Uh, this one is there with plus sign. If this part is not there, that comes in rule 1. If this is there, then we cannot apply that rule 1 procedure to solve this differential equation because directly you cannot take the value of uh, uh, d equal to a from this and then individual term of exponential you cannot expect. So, that is to be reduced uh, in the usual form. Maybe this problem looks to be simple, but uh, procedure is entirely different. Solution: Let y is equal to y c and plus y p be the be the general solution. Then uh, for y c, then for y c, let auxiliary equation be for second order derivative that is d square and minus 1 is equal to 0. That implies m square, m square minus 1 equal to 0 that implies m is equal to plus or minus 1. m square minus 1 equal to 0, m is equal to plus or minus 1 that means m 1 equal to 1 and m 2 is equal to it is minus 1. There are two ro roots which we declare them as real roots and different. Therefore, the complementary function y c is equal to c 1 e to the power x plus c 2 e to the power minus of x that is the complementary function. Then uh, with this complementary function we find uh, the uh, particular integral using variation of parameters. Okay. This can be taken as uh, c 1 y 1 plus c 2 y 2. Okay. Then, so y 1 this implies y 1 is equal to e to the power x and y 2 is equal to this value e to the power minus of x. So, these are the two values. Now, define, define uh, y p is equal to c 1 
that is u x and e to the power x plus v x e to the power minus of x as <coughs> u x and v x as parameters, where u x and v x as parameters. Then how to calculate u x uh, parameter? u x equal to integration minus of y 2 x of x dx and divided by Ranskian that is w. Then v x can also be calculated that is y 1 x of x dx divided by Ranskian with the condition Ranskian is not equal to 0. Let us verify what is the value of that Ranskian. So, we will check that. So, w is equal to that is y 1 y 2 y 1 dash and y 2 dash. This is e to the power x and then e to the power minus x e to the power of x differentiation minus of e to the power minus of x. So, this is the answer. Then this will be taken for simplification e to the power x into e to the power minus x right and uh, with uh, minus sign and here also minus sign e to the power of x into e to the power minus of x. Therefore, this is basis same powers can be added minus of e to the power 0 minus of e to the power 0 this becomes minus of 1 and this becomes minus 1 answer is minus 2 minus 2 means that is not equal to 0. Once again we have achieved, achieved the uh, condition that runs can is not equal to 0 therefore, you are permitted to go to next step. If that is 0, then you do not go for next step, method of variation of parameters fails, that means it cannot be applied. Then, so Ranskian is equal to 2 with the minus sign, you can write this much. So, all these calculations, you must know how that determinant can be simplified and then the value of that determinant can be utilized in writing uh, the two parameters that is ux and vx. So, now ux is to be calculated like this minus of y2, what is that y2 e to the power minus x and then x of x that is this much into 2 divided by 1 plus e to the power x okay? and then dx and divided by it is uh, divided by it is uh, what it is minus divided by minus 2 that is w value that means Ranskian. Okay. So, now this becomes to the right side uh, this is 2 is there of course, you can cancel 2 now minus integration e to the power minus x divided by 1 plus 1 plus e to the power x is there this is for dx. Now, uh, this can be simplified anyway you have to integrate this whatever the uh, knowledge you have, whatever the uh, uh, skill of integration you have, you do it, but this function should be integrated. That is not an easy task. This is though it looks to be very simple, but it is not an easy task. You have to use your complete cleverness in rearranging the terms like this. Directly it cannot be integrated, but now you have to move like this. So, you take this e to the power of x outside first e to the power minus x divided by e to the power of x into 1 divided by e to the power of x plus 1, you do like this, then it is with respect to x, then uh, ux equal to minus this if I take to numerator integration e to the power minus x and e to the power minus x, this also I am taking to the numerator. This also I am writing in the same numerator e to the power minus x plus 1, right. So, this is equal, this is multiplied by dx. So, in the denominator, uh, we are expecting uh, exponential term with the same power and in the numerator also we are expecting uh, the exponential term with the uh, same power. What is that? With the minus sign here, here and the here also minus sign. For what purpose you are taking like this? The purpose is you are going to use substitution method in the integration. That substitution method will 
uh, serve the purpose for uh, uh, replacement of numerator with one term. What is that one term? That anyway, e to the power of x is equal to uh, e to the power of minus x is equal to something. That means the whole quantity, if you take, then you can replace. Therefore, substitution method I am going to apply e to the power minus x plus 1 is equal to something like t, then minus e to the power minus x into dx is equal to it is dt, then uh, what you can replace e to the power minus x into dx that is equal to dt, therefore ux is equal to minus, minus one term you can replace and here this is equal to t means here e to the power of x minus x is equal to t minus 1 you can replace. So, u x is equal to minus sign as it is, then here that is t minus 1 into e to the power minus x to d x is equal to minus of d t, this is one replacement and divided by t, this much is your calculation. Then u x is equal to, that means u is equal to minus this minus makes us plus sign, uh, then integration that is t minus 1 by t into d t, then this is u x is equal to then integration that is t divided by t is 1, that is 1 by t, <coughs> it is d t, then it is equal to integration that is t minus log of t, this is the final value, but you have to put it as t is equal to what value? this quantity that is e to the power minus x and uh, plus 1 and log of this is uh, minus log of e to the power of x uh, minus x and plus 1 that is log of t I hope log of uh, t this value. So, this is for u of x and similarly you can work out for v of x this quantity. So, how this uh, value takes the calculation that we will see. This is equal to y 1 integration. So, y 1 is e to the power x, e to the power x, x of x is this much 2 divided by 1 plus e to the power x okay, and whole divided by run scan that is minus 2, it is d x. right? So, then this should be integrated, this 2 once again cancels leaving minus sign outside and then e to the power x divided by 1 plus e to the power of x into dx. So, now this is a very simple term uh, substitution method as it is the quantity in the denominator you can shift as some other variable and then differentiation gives. Therefore, put 1 plus e to the power of x is equal to t then e to the power of x into dx is equal to it is dt. Then you can replace this quantity by a numerator that is v x is equal to minus that is e to the power of x into dx is equal to dt, then denominator is only t. Therefore, this gives minus of log of t. Uh, then log of t means t is equal to this much minus log of this is 1 plus e to the power of x is there in terms of x then what it is you have to calculate uh, uh, the general solution that means you have to write as general solution like this y is equal to y c plus y p. Therefore, this step takes the solution y is equal to c 1 e to the power of x plus c 2 e to the power minus x and uh, plus of u x that is e to the power minus x plus 1 and minus log of e to the power of x and plus 1 e to the power minus x plus 1 and plus this term that is minus of log of it is 1 plus e to the power of x. This is the complete solution for this problem that means you are going to write the combination of complementary function plus particular integral as a linear combination of these two solutions responsible for LHS and responsible for RHS. Therefore, this speaks about the general solution of various 
various values of C1 and C2 because you can give various values means in the form of initial conditions. Then on the same basis let me take another example on uh, uh, of different variety another example where uh, the variation of parameters method can be applied. So that is with uh, something like polynomial term that you have to take it up uh, here. all that is a combination of uh, po polynomial term I can take it d square and minus 2 d plus 1 operating on y is equal to e to the power of x divided by x. This is the third different variety where you are, you are expecting polynomial term in the denominator. Earlier we discussed first problem as trigonometric function and second problem as with only the exponential and third problem exponential and polynomial terms that you are going to notice. Then in the solution as usual you have to write uh, general solution that is G s is equal to y, y c plus this is y p then as a general solution for this is y c for y c then we use auxiliary equation that is d square minus 2 d and plus 1 equal to 0 auxiliary equation. Then this is a second order derivative otherwise auxiliary equation will give us implies m square 2 m plus 1 equal to 0. So, how you are going to translate how you are going to translate uh, from one system to the other system this system is in terms of d this system is in terms of m. That means you are going to write the variable form in the form of derivative as a number, number this is a number, <coughs> this is a variable, this is a number, this is the variable. Therefore, from variable to number and number to variable is nothing but your auxiliary form that from the auxiliary form here m square minus 2 m plus 1 is equal to 0 gives m minus 1 whole square is equal to 0 m minus 1 whole square is equal to 0. This is also little importance in this problem of course uh, in the previous two problems we did not come across roots are real and repeated but in this case repeated is one case and polynomial term presence is another case therefore m is equal to 1 and then m is equal to uh, another 1 therefore real and repeated real and it is the case of repeated roots. Therefore, the complementary function y c is equal to c 1 <coughs> c 1 e to the power uh, x and plus of c 2 x into e to the power it is x is there m minus 1 whole square means that is 1 comma 1 you are writing this is your complementary function. Then define the from the same it is a particular integral that is y p is equal to u x into e to the power of x plus v x x e to the power x is there. Therefore, this will be taken as a particular integral then in this particular integral we have introduced two parameters u x and v x separately uh, to be calculated through integration. Then uh, how to write that integration u x and v x using the value of Ronskian with the condition that Ronskian is not equal to 0. So, first of all u x and v x uh, integral equations first you write where u x is equal to uh, integration minus y 2 x of x into d x divided by w and v x is equal to integration y 1 x of x multiplication d x divided by w, w is equal to y 1 y 2 y 1 dash y 2 dash and this is not equal to 0. This is our claim, this is our claim means uh, it should not be equal to 0 to say that uh, this method can be continued from this step onwards. If that becomes 0 then this method ceases, this method we cannot apply then. So, what is the solution uh, for 
finding these two values that means here u x is there then anyway w we will calculate that w is equal to okay, the first one the first one y 1 anyway this is uh, uh, c 1 and c 2 uh, that means sorry y 1 and y 2 uh, implies c 1 y 1 plus of c 2 y 2 then what is that value here uh, c 1 uh, y 1 means that should be e to the power x and y 2 is x into e to the power x and uh, that is <coughs> what is that another one the differentiation that is differentiation means e to the power x only and differentiation means e to the power of x plus x into e to the power x. Okay. Then this is nothing but is equal to simplification. What is that simplification? e to the power of x into e to the power of x e to the power 2 x right? and uh, plus of x into e to the power 2 x and minus of x into e to the power 2 x. Okay. So, this is the value e to the power 2 x and x into e to the power 2 x, x into e to the power x that is with minus sign is equal to this term cancels and e to the power 2 x is not equal to 0. Even if you take x equal to 0 that e to the power 2 x will not become 0 because e to the power 2 x at x equal to 0 is 1. Therefore, the trans can is not equal to 0. Therefore, here goal is achieved once again the trans can value that is not equal to 0. Then we will utilize this value for u x calculation that is equal to uh, integration minus of y 2 minus of y 2 means that is x into e to the power of x divided by e to the power 2 x into uh, right side value that is e to the power of x divided by x it is dx. Up to this I would like to stop and then I will continue the same problem in the continuation uh, remaining steps in the next lecture. Thank you.